Hi, what's going on, Tway fam? Rizzo here, and today we're gonna show you how to make ballistic gel. All right, you excited about it? I am. All right, so I read a lot of uh, stuff online about how to do it, this, that, and other. So I'm gonna try it myself. Uh, basically, um, you need to get you some type of gelatin, uh, clear, just regular, uh, uh, unflavored uh, gelatin. Most people use the Knox. Um, I saw something online that said this stuff here is supposed to make it a little clearer, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try both of them so you can kind of see uh, what they both uh, look like. So basically, uh, it's a lot of different formulas on there, but basically what I found, um, what I'm going to use is, uh, for every eight ounces of water I use, I'm going to use one ounce of the gelatin. And then we'll see how it go. Basically, I'm not going to make a real big one. I'm going to put it inside <laughs> this container here. You have to have a container to put it in, so I'm going to use... Um, Basically, about, about, about a gallon, maybe a little more of uh, water. I'm going to use some hydrogen peroxide. Uh, that's supposed to be kind of a, a preservative. It kind of, it, it also kind of makes the, uh, when you make the gel with this, it's not going to look like the ballistic gel that you'll buy, which would be clear. Um, it's going to be a little cloudy, so um, this is supposed to help you know, make it less cloudy. This one's supposed to be better than the Nox, but we'll see. And also putting in hydrogen peroxide should make it um, a little less. So um, usually they say about five percent, ten percent of the hydrogen peroxide. Uh, got my little scale and everything to kind of measure out uh, everything to make sure I get eight ounces of water for every ounce of this. I got the saran wrap to kind of wrap it up in when we're done. Um, <laughs> the pan, the, the you need to put some cleaner uh, on cleaner. <laughs> Move on the side because they say when it after um, you put it in the fridge and let it uh, harden and get get into the gel form that it'll be hard to get out. So um, we'll put that on and kind of make it easier to come out when we're done. So uh, let's get started. All right. So I'm gonna do about a gallon, which means about um, 16 cups uh, of uh, water. So remember, we're doing uh, one ounce um, of this for every cup of water. So it's be 16 cups of this and I'm substituting uh, one cup of water with uh, the uh, hydrogen peroxide so I will set my scale up here tear it out and add my eight ounces of probably should have took that out before the video started but I'm just paying attention to all that stuff all right, so add eight ounces. All right, let's add eight. <clears throat> so I got 15 ounces of water and one ounce of hydrogen peroxide. So it's not gonna fill it up, comes up to about right there. But like I said, it's my first time doing it. I'll make bigger um, ones more once I do it a couple of times to make sure I got it, uh, the formula down pat. So uh, now I wanna do is add, they usually tell you, first time I started saying that it was saying that you should use um, hot water. Now they're um, saying that you should use cold water and the colder the better. So uh, maybe you can just put your water in the refrigerator or something before you wanna do it just to make sure it's cold, but yeah, colder water tends to work better and I have a nice little wooden spoon to uh, to stir with so we're gonna um, put in uh, 16 ounces of our mix and we're gonna just put it in and stir it um, slowly so you can just kind of see how it goes. Alright so we got our water, um, hydrogen peroxide mix and everything so now what we're gonna start doing is just slowly I got uh, 16 ounces uh, pour my formula um, pour it in slowly, mix it up so we don't have any large uh, clumps. If we do get large clumps, we'll just kind of break them up. Just want it to be smooth. Uh, they say it's going to be like the consistency of applesauce. Hmm. We'll see. Don't need it. All right, so we're just going to slowly kind of pour this stuff in here. A little bit at a time. And just kind of stir it up.
like I said, we're just going to stir it until it, uh, the consistency is going to be thick, um, like applesauce, and then we're going to um, put it in the refrigerator for a, a few hours, kind of let it bloom, and then after it's, uh, after it's sat in the fridge for a few hours, we will heat it up. Uh, we'll do what they call a, a double boil. We boil some water, put this in the container on top of it, uh, and then melt it down. And then uh, once it melts down, uh, we will uh, put it back in the fridge for a day or two. Should be ready to go. All right, so let's see, it's getting a little thicker. We got some clumps in here. So yeah, clumps, bubbles, we don't want to get rid of uh, all of that before we put it in the front. I guess it's not as important as go around. So, yeah, not too bad. It is uh, cloudy looking, but hopefully the finished product won't be, uh, won't be looking like that. You do want to make ballistic gel, you do want to at least be able to see, uh, see what you got. So. So we're not going to make a whole lot, but if it turns out good, I'll get some bigger things and maybe even get some molds and just kind of go along with it for my own little ballistic gel. It is getting a little thicker. I'm not sure it's apple sauce yet. Let me just put this last little bit in here. See what they mean when they say consistency of applesauce. It is getting a little, a little thicker. That's why these last little ones are a little harder to uh, to break up. I don't know if you can see. Let me see. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, the camera can kind of show how kind of thick that is. So maybe not quite apple sauce but close enough. So we're gonna just stir this up pretty good and should we get all our little lumps and everything out and then we'll uh we'll set it in the fridge. Oh yeah, it's getting nice and thick. And so if you can see uh, the consistency it's pretty uh it's pretty thick. And I guess this so we're gonna just Stir this up a little more, make sure we got everything. Uh, see, see, that's a little piece right there. The one that hasn't quite broken up yet, so we're just gonna squish that to the side. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Do that, and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it bloom. All right, all right, all right. So, a few things before I put this in the fridge. Uh, Eight to one ratio. Um, <clears throat> the reason I chose that one is just because that was just the one I saw most often online. I think I saw anywhere from like eight to thirteen ounces, so you can kind of do it however you want to do it. Um, usually, um, you can make more than a gallon, but realize that this stuff, you know, that's you know, a gallon of water, a couple, a few pounds. 
Um, so it gets kind of heavy. So if you want to make a lot, because you need to refrigerate it, so you need to make sure you have enough room in your fridge to uh, let this stuff sit uh, for a few hours so it can bloom. And then again, after you heat it up, <clears throat> Um, so you can sit it back in the fridge and everything. So make sure you have enough room uh, for that. So if you want to make a, a lot, uh, just make sure you have a lot of room. Some people will say like a cold garage, but it's the middle of summer in Atlanta. My garage is not cold. So um, there's that. Um, you you don't have to use the hydrogen peroxide. I just did it. Um, it said it's like a preservative, and it also helps it. Uh, it clears uh, it up. But also, if you use hydrogen peroxide when you shoot. Um, into the jail, you want to take the uh, the, uh, the bullets out that are in there um, as soon as possible because they'll start interacting uh, with the jail from what I've heard. Um, like I said, I do believe they did say the Nox is the one uh, to use, but I, I tried this one first, the uh, custom collagen because they said it's super clear, so we will see. Like I said, I'll do uh, one of both. I'm doing the custom collagen first, and we'll come back and do one with the Nox and compare and see which one is the clear. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I'm tired, it's late at night. So I'm gonna let this sit overnight. We'll come back tomorrow, um, heat it up, finish it up. Then we'll do the knock and see what it looks like. All right, we'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right, so we're doing what we call a, a double boil. What we're gonna do is uh, let my water uh, boil in this one. Then we're gonna take the one um, that the stuff is in and set it inside of there and melt it down and pull it back into our container. Right. So as you guys can see, um, when you put it in, it uh, melts up pretty good. So hopefully we can uh, melt it down enough to take it on out. I'm gonna just start pouring it in, uh, scooping it in little by little. All right, so a couple of things. Uh, I would first of all recommend just kind of pouring it in um, you guys can get a look, look at that. Let me turn this back on. Of course, it's on. Pouring it in uh, slowly, just kind of getting some in there. And also, when you put it in the refrigerator after this step, try not to leave it in um, too long. I left mine in for overnight, and it got a little harder than what it used. It should have been the consistency of applesauce, but it got a little hard and kind of chunky, so... Um, I'm having to uh, work with that, but that's fine. You can work with it um, and just kind of put um, put it in uh, slowly. Don't try to dump it all in uh, at one time. Just kind of you know scoop scoop it out, put it in slowly, and uh, and work with it. So I'm gonna stir this, get it all in there. We'll uh, we'll set the mold here in a minute. All right, fellas. All right, folks, that's our final uh, mixture. So we're going to take it and put it into our container. Um, first, we need to get the pan. Hold on. All right, so we're going to spray it with the nonstick just to make sure it doesn't uh, stick to the side and then we'll pour it in. Okay, so we sprayed the um, nonstick on there. So now, um, Folks, that's the final mix. We're gonna um, put it in the refrigerator, let it cook, and see what it looks like. All right, all right, all right. So finished up, got it out. Um, let it sit in the refrigerator for a while. Um, you can see what it looks like there. So now we're gonna try to uh, take it out. Just kind of loosen it up on the sides there a bit. Hopefully, uh, we can. Use it like a little butter knife and just kind of hit the sides. Well, I don't know if that's what we're doing. Okay. 
Yeah, I probably should use a. Well, it looks like it uh, kind of got the seal set at the bottom. I wanted it to be but um, it's not bad so that's what we uh, come up with that's what it looks like block of uh, ballistic gel so uh, we'll go out shoot it test it see if it's up to um, quote unquote FBI standards but there it is uh, can you see here you can see my hand on the other side of that so yeah, there we go that's the ballistic gel um, so hopefully, I'm going to try another batch, see what it looks like. But yeah, that's pretty clear. doesn't look as clear in the camera, but you can clearly see my hand uh, behind that. So, yep, um, ballistic gel. We maybe we'll make a little more next time, but there it is. All right. All right, so we did our gel block. Now what we want to do is make sure we kind of uh, want to preserve it for as long as possible. So, um, just got some little... Ran wrap. I'm just gonna wrap it up while we store it, and it just kind of uh, what I hear just helps keep it protected from the uh, the elements and whatnot. So just gonna wrap it up, store it, take it out, and uh, we'll take it out and shoot it and see. Uh, we will do the test and see if we got the right uh, measurements as far as the uh, for the FBI test goes, but. Yeah, I, I, I like that. So I'm gonna make uh, another batch uh, with the stuff I had, and then we'll make a batch with the Knox, and uh, we'll post an update, let you guys know um, if it gets any clear or anything. So yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully uh, this works out well. It's my first time doing it. Uh, it was a it was fun. It was fun doing it never did anything like that before so yeah that is the ballistic gel i used um i used 15 ounces of water one ounce of uh hydrogen peroxide and 16 ounces of the uh the gelatin powder so did that um mix it together cold water so i i, I didn't have really really cold water to begin with so maybe i'll try that um, the really cold water next time to see if that'll uh, work better. So we'll do it with the really cold water, then we'll do it with the Knox. Um, mix it together, um, put it in the fridge for a few hours um, to let it bloom. Like I said, don't try to leave it in there too long because it'll run in there a long time and it kind of, it's supposed to be like the consistency of jello when you heat it up. Uh, mine was uh, um, hardened gelatin, almost like the mold thing, but it was kind of hardened. So it still melted uh, okay, but that could also be a part of the process of why it's not as clear as I like it, but we'll see. Um, after that, uh, heat it up, uh, melt it down, do the double pour, and, uh, and pour it into your container, whatever container you use. Uh, if this works out fine, if everything is good, I'll invest in some containers uh, just to kind of get a bigger, uh, more official size block. This is just, you know, and we'll use more, but I'll still use that same uh, formula of... Uh, um, eight ounces of water for every ounce of uh, of the gelatin. So, and and um, and maybe more. So I may try to use more more water. We'll see. I gotta shoot it to see how what the consistency is for. It. Do that. Um, do the gel. Um, then so then we'll put it. We'll take this. We'll let this uh, sit. I'm assuming I should store it in the fridge to kind of keep it uh solid. We're gonna keep this off because when I hear if you leave it involved to the elements, it'll start getting hard. Um on the outside and, and it won't be the right consistency when you shoot it um instead of the bullets going in it'll just kind of like crack you kind of know how gelatin will get so we'll do this to kind of preserve it to keep it as uh as long as possible so uh that is the ballistic gel like i said we'll do an update uh more water 
and then we'll do an update with the knock gelatin to see how it go. But, all right, let's go do a quick update. I found out that this stuff here, this uh, gelatin is a lot stronger than the Knox gelatin, so it's possible that I could have used more um, water on this one. We'll see. I think next time maybe I'll do like uh, 12 ounces of water per ounce of this stuff just to see, but I did two of those. They came out um, about the same, um, and I just did one with the Knox, so I'm going to take it out and what I found out also was that I did not have to really have to spray it down with the uh, with the uh, cooking spray I just kind of loosened up the edges with this uh, um, plastic butter knife not not with the the hot part but just a little just kind of loosen up a little bit and then if I kind of reach in with my finger get like a good grip of course, now when I say I'm gonna do it, there we go. So get a good grip on it, turn it upside down. Now look at here. This, my people, is great. This is what came up with the Knox gelatin. So yeah, that is uh, and that's about as uh, about as good as it's gonna get. So yeah, um, no need to buy the um, like more expensive stuff. Is Knox is gonna do this unless the expensive stuff works better. I can get more out of it. We'll see. But yeah, that is a great <laughs> piece of uh, gelatin. I'm gonna get the other one so you guys can kind of see the difference between the two. All right, so you guys can see this is the one that was used with the more expensive stuff, and this is the one that was used with the <laughs> with the Knox gelatin. You can see this Knox is uh, it did a lot better. So like I said, they say this one was stronger. So we'll we'll see. But yeah, this uh, that's pretty clear. Yeah, I like that. So um, yeah, um, that is how to make ballistic gel. Just do uh, eight ounces of water for every ounce of uh, gel. Mix it up. Put in the refrigerator till it gets kind of the applesauce consistency. Um, double boil, heat it up, pour it into your mold. Let it sit there too, and you'll get uh, your ballistic gel. We're gonna go out and test it. Make sure it's. Uh, FBI approved at this point. I don't even care. I like this. All right. You guys have a good one. Uh, until we talk again, stay safe, shoot straight, keep training. And if you guys got another formula for ballistic gel, let me know in the comments below. We'll, uh, we'll try it out and update it, okay? All right, guys. Talk to you later. If you're a believer in the Second Amendment, please help us spread our message and defeat these social media anti-gun algorithms. We are a small channel, but you can help our voice be heard by leaving a comment, liking the video, subscribing to the um, to the channel, or even um, hitting the bell button to make sure you're notified when we push a video out. We're here to speak for you and make sure that your, uh, your voice is heard and that your rights are not infringed. You can also help us support the channel. There's the link below where you can go buy a video and tactical gear, pick you up a hat, <laughs> a shirt, you know, whatever, to just kind of help uh, support the channel going forward. So, until next time, stay safe, shoot straight, keep training, and carry a gun daily to keep you and your family safe. We'll talk to you guys next time.